Are you on a budget but needing to fill your cosplay arsenal? Good news. Today, Tiffany gives you her top 10 cheap items that every cosplayer needs. Here's my top 10 items every cosplayer needs. Number 10, pepper spray. Number 9, pepper spray. Number 8, pepper spray. Number 7, pepper spray. Number 6, pepper spray. Number 5, pepper spray. Number 4, pepper spray. Number 3, pepper spray. Number 2, pepper spray. And number 1, a clean change of clothes. Just kidding, it's pepper spray. This episode is brought to you by DX Racer, the ultimate seat of choice to heighten your gaming experience. Hello, hello, hello to my plate. Hey! I don't know where that came from, it just happened. Hey guys, Tiffany here with 10 items that every cosplayer needs in their cosplay arsenal. These 10 items are also cheap enough and small enough that you can keep them together and have them as an emergency kit at conventions or on photo shoots. Number one, scissors. I know it sounds redundant, but without a doubt, scissors are the most important thing that you can have in your arsenal. You can start off with cheap ones and then as you go on, invest in more expensive ones, but without a doubt, they're the most versatile thing. You can distress items with it, you can cut foam or your fabric with them. Scissors, invest in scissors. Also, whenever I'm at conventions and I have my emergency kit, I keep a small set, a little pinking share, that way I can keep it with me at all times. And it kind of looks like a little dagger thing, which is kind of cool. Number two, safety pins. Small, accessible, and they can hold a small amount of weight. So for the price, you'll find nothing more valuable. Number three, hot glue. Hot glue is the Walmart of thermoplastics. Hot glue is an absolute godsend. You can use it to create jewels, create small details on your costume, keep things together, God forbid, even a last minute hem on your costume. Hot glue is critical and always keep some in your cosplay bag. Number four, a needle and thread. Even if you don't have the money for a big expensive machine right now, that's okay. You can still create a lot of costumes just using a needle and thread. But watch out, don't go to Walmart and buy one of those little packs that have like multiple little ones. Don't do that. Just invest in a really good white one and a really good black one. That's all you need. Let's say it's like 2 a.m. in the morning, the day before the convention, and you can't go get thread. What do you do? Take that white thread, take a Sharpie, create your own custom color, bam, done. And speaking of Sharpies, number five, Sharpies. Sharpies can be used for just about anything, whether it's creating distress marks, needing to add some color to a synthetic wig, I don't know, actually writing something with it, that's a thought. Also, you want Sharpies, some extra black ones to always keep with you in case you run into one of your celebrities at your convention. Hello, autographs. Number six, fusible interfacing. I know not all of you are going to know what this is just starting out, but trust me, it is an unsung hero in cosplay. Fusible interfacing is a cheap, lightweight fabric that you can find at your fabric store that goes in between fabrics. It's used to stabilize them, and also you can take two pieces of fabric and fuse them together. I know, fusible interfacing, who'd have thought, right? You can use it to fuse two pieces of fabric together, giving you that look without having to get out your paint supplies or doing embroidery. It's a simple, quick tool. It will take your cosplay to the next level and save you a lot of headaches. And the best part is no sewing required, you just use an iron. Number seven, foam core boards. I can't tell you how many times when I first went to conventions, I saw foam core board swords everywhere. Before the time of Warbla and Wonderflex, foam core is truly all cosplayers had, and it's still the cheapest item out there if you're needing a quick, cheap prop. You can find foam core board in your school supply area of Walmart or whatever big box store that you have. What it is is two pieces of cardboard and wedged between is a simple piece of foam. Why do you use this? Because if you're able to take it and bend it, then you can actually create your item while still having a surface that you can paint on. That way, you don't have to worry about priming and everything else, and you already have a ready surface. Number eight, craft foam. We're almost done. If you need to add a large 3D detail, but you don't have the money for Warbler or Wonderflex, Craft Foam is a great option. It can be purchased in small sheets for less than a dollar. I know people who have even created a full set of armor with Craft Foam for under $50 if you use the right treatment on it. Number nine, spray paint and acrylic paint. I'm putting both of these into one category because they're both so cheap, they give you so many color options, and they can be used interchangeably in a lot of different ways. 
It's also a given, you kinda gotta paint those prompts. Number 10, Elmer's glue. That's right, the item you used to sink your hands into as a kid is still one of the greatest items that you can use for cosplay. If you don't have the time or the money to go out and buy gesso to prime a prop, use part water and part Elmer's glue, and then you create basically the same thing as gesso, and you've done it at a fraction of the price. Also, if you plan to wear a not natural colored wig, then you kinda need it for your eyebrows. I'll explain that another day. That's my top 10, but tell me what your top 10 is. Maybe there's something I forgot. There are a lot of things though that I wanted to add onto this list, but then it wouldn't be a top 10 list. And that's just not cool. Well, that's it for me today, guys, but I'll see you next Sunday. In the meantime, check out my social media down below. Bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be no awful. It shows up and it's spelled right. wrong. That's what happens all the time. Thank nice. You. Thank you, Chris. You gonna wear it today? Yes, I am. <laughs> Just show up in the video. Right it. now. <laughs> cool. Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.